everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the second episode of a Classy with Sassy, aka a video where I get ready from start to finish, an uncut clip video, um, just so you guys can get ready with me. So let's get into the video. Hello, all right, let's get started. I already moisturized my face because, well, I guess I could use some more because um, I usually film these classy with sassy videos on this little camera, like my vlog camera, because it's just easier than using my big thing <laughs> uh, that usually is in the background. Um, but today I had to use it because my little camera ran out of battery, so that's fun. But today, welcome back to my second episode ooh, of my Get Ready With Me series. You guys have been like liking these so much ever since I made the first one. For some weird reason, I don't think that these are really fun to watch because it's just me like rambling. But you guys seem to like them a lot. I mean, this is just kind of what I do with my friends anyway. Because when my friends come over, I am always the last one to get ready. <laughs> because it takes me so long and I'm such a rambly person. So they always sit in the background and I always just kind of talk to them while I do my makeup. So this is just kind of like, you know, what I do anyway. So, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess I'll continue making this, these for you because, anyway. I feel like these are really good for me when I want to update you guys on my life um, and just kind of talk about what's going on right now. Me and Eric spent our... First, or actually, it's kind of a cute story. So, me and Eric, my boyfriend, started dating a year ago this Saturday. And he called me the day before saying, like, we have a long-distance relationship, if you don't know. He was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so sorry we're not going to be able to spend our first anniversary together because, you know, he's in college and I live up here. Um, or I live eight hours away from him. Um, and so, you know, I had a lot of things to do as well because I am taking the SATs. Well, that's a whole nother story. I'll get into that in a second. I'm a junior in high school. He's a freshman in college. So, um, he called me and was like, you know, I'm so sorry we're not going to be able to see each other this weekend because you got, you have to study for the SAT. I have a lot of, like, things to do for my finals coming up and yada yada. And I was like, you know, I'm really... Like, sorry, too, that I can't drive down there because he goes to Michigan State University. And I live in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So I said, you know, we kind of came to the uh, consensus that we weren't going to see each other this weekend, which was kind of, like, sucky. But at the same time, I was like, you know, I'm not going to make it miss school for, you know, to see me. You know, we can celebrate it later because this weekend we're going to our um, beach house in... South Carolina. So I was like, you know, it's okay. Then, um, <laughs> when you have to shave your stash, me, when uh, I, uh, you know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay in this weekend. I'm gonna study, be a saint. I'm a saint, not a sinner. And uh, just get ready. And so we live like eight hours apart. And it's kind of sucky sometimes, but it's fine. I mean, I can drive down, I can drive up, you know, it's not too bad. Um, and so I'm sitting in my room on Friday night, getting ready. You know, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know, whoa, I just, okay. I just threw that away. Anyway, I was getting ready. I was fixing my hair because I was filming something, which I didn't end up doing. Uh, but he was like, calling me or like he called me a little bit like a couple of hours before that and he was like you know you know what's going on and you know just talking like normal and I you know didn't think about it too much he was like yeah I'm going to my friend's house in a little bit so I'm gonna you know I'll call you tomorrow and I was like yeah sure fine that's okay and so I started getting ready I started fixing my hair blah 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 and um I was putting in my extensions like for my hair and I realized that they were way too long because I got new ones and they were like way too long and just looked like 
you know, like how the new trend with like super fucking long hair is in. You know, I think it's cute, just not on me. <laughs> Cause I'm so fucking tall and I just like, I have naturally really long hair so I don't want it to be like longer. Um, so I was going out of my bathroom to get my scissors for my studio so I could trim them. So I opened my door and if you don't know, well obviously not every one of you have been in my room or in my house, but so when you open the bathroom door, um, it's like facing directly to the bed, excuse me, the bedroom. And so I open the door and I just see Eric laying on my bed. And I was like, I dropped, <laughs> I dropped my um, hair clip that I had in my hand. And I was like, no. <laughs> and I just ran and hugged him. And I thought that was really sweet. You know, I feel like very, very lucky to, to have that, you know. So we spent our anniversary together, which was fun. He was like, you know, I just wanted to make you think that we weren't gonna spend it together, but in reality, I really wanted to, which was really sweet. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I felt really lucky. You know, I was like, this is crazy. This is the second time he's done that, like surprised me. Like, I could never keep a secret like that because I get too fucking excited and I'm just like, eh. Like, I have to tell somebody, you know? And that person would have to be Eric then because, I don't know, I'm just like that. But honestly, though, our anniversary was so fun. We went to dinner. We went to the same place that we, like, met in or talked for the first time in, which was, like, really fun and cute. Um, I talked about memories and stuff, which was like, I don't know, got me kind of emotional. No, one year. Hey! And I also tagged him in a picture, like when I wrote like, happy anniversary, blah blah blah. Um, I tagged him in a picture and he gained like so many followers over one day. I was like, well, you guys have searched for him for like a year, like wanting to know his Instagram. And I finally was just like, you know what, whatever. Because I kind of wanted to keep it kind of... I mean, you guys know me. In a way, I'm very open. But in another way, I'm very secluded. And very, like, selective what I put out there. <laughs> Which is funny because in one video, I'm like, oh my god, like... You know, never have I ever fucking x-rated version. <laughs> but in another way, I'm very, like... I guess I'm very, um, for my, to myself, kind of. Um... So I didn't want him to be, you know, open and out there and I kind of just wanted to protect our little, little relationship because, I mean, I don't know, he didn't choose this life. So finally I was like, you know what, he has been on this roller coaster for a year, he can probably handle it. And he was like, like I asked him before and he was like, yeah, that's fine. And then, you know, he didn't really care that much, so it was fine. <laughs> Back to my, <coughs> excuse me, SATs. So I was scheduled to take them today. Today's Tuesday, the 12th, I believe? I may be wrong, hold on. Oof. I inhaled it. I feel like there's something wrong with this little dispenser because it keeps, it's the 11th, okay? So I was scheduled to take it today. And um, yesterday, so I live in Michigan for everyone that doesn't know. And I live like way, way up, like almost by Canada. So all week, it's been like 70 degrees, like, I don't know, kind of like warm weather. You know, we had zero snow. I even changed my tires of my car to my summer tires, you know. I, like literally, I turned my car in for service yesterday. So, like to change my tires to my summer tires. So I was like, you know, it's like today or yesterday was, I was planning to come home from school um, go buy, you know, pencils and whatever I need for the SATs, take a bubble bath, you know, take it easy and then, like, read a book, go to bed. That was basically what I was planning on doing. I got, I went to Target, bought some snacks for today, and all that. And so I, I spent all of yesterday doing that and, like, studying and just getting ready for the SATs. I've been studying for months now. 
And so there's no snow on the ground. I go to bed at like nine. I have it all dark in my room, you know, quiet. I had ear fucking, um, what are those called? Oh my God. Anyway, I, could, I went to bed really, really early to like sleep and I set my alarm for six o'clock. I wake up, obviously my blinds are down, but I wake up and the first thing that I do in the morning, as many of you guys probably also do if you're millennials like I am, is check your phone. So I went on my phone and like I had so many Snapchats from people and I, I am not usually one that gets a lot of Snapchats. Like I'm pretty bad at responding to Snapchats. So I'm like, you know, what's going on? So I open all of my Snapchats and they're all like, we have a snow day. Oh my God, I'm so pissed. Oh my God, when are we gonna take the SATs? Sasha, don't go to school, don't get ready. Cause everyone knew that I was like going all in, you know? And so I go on like the actual school website and it's like, Tuesday the 11th, school is closed due to weather. And I look outside, I roll my window up or my um, blinds up. And I look outside and it is literally so, it's a, it's a fucking snow chaos outside. And I was just, I was just dumbfounded. I literally was so set on taking the SAT today and I'm, I'm so mad. Uh, and usually I'm never mad that we have a snow day, but you know, so that kind of sucked, obviously. Cause I, I was, planning on taking it and I was I done like a ritual the night before to go to bed early you know meditated eating all this healthy stuff like brain food so mad I had taken so many tests and now it's scheduled two weeks from today which gives me more time to study I mean it is good in theory but I'm just kind of like a little bit angry because of how much I had prepared. But what if I, so one thing that I did think of was like, okay, I'm not gonna be disturbed. Like this was actually a thought that I had, uh, that I was gonna turn my phone off and not look at it for like, you know, all of that day, just so I could have my brain kind of, um, not have any disruptions and any disturbance in the morning. Like I was just gonna wake up, take a shower, get some breakfast, you know, take it easy. And um, so what if I did that and didn't check my phone? I would have gone to school. That would have been bad, bad. So yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, I don't know. So today I have a snow day and I decided to film a video or I'm filming Two videos today. I'm filming this and I'm filming, um, excuse me, another video. I keep burping. On Friday, it is Good Friday. And one of my favorite holidays is Easter. I don't know why, it's just like one of my favorites. Because it's so like, pastel -y. you know, I don't really like to talk about religion because it may offend people and, you know, this is a light place. Uh, so we're just going to talk about the fun, very light subject, very materialistic aspects of Easter. I really like the pastel colors. You know, I have blue nails right now, which makes me feel very Eastery. And, oh, uh, prom is in about a month, which is crazy to me because this year has gone by so fast. My prom is, um, prom 13th is May 13th, so it's about a month, which is, uh, a good amount left still, but it's, it's close. I mean, I did order my dress pretty late, um, if you compare to my friends. They, they all ordered their, their dresses, like, January, I'm not even kidding. And I was like, did not even know if I was going to prom back then, so. I decided really, really late that I was going to prom. I was like, fuck it, man, I'm just gonna go. 
I asked my boyfriend. He was like, yeah. Well, in the beginning, I was like, you know, you're in college. Do you even want to go to, like, a high school prom? He's like, well, I don't want you to go with anyone else. <laughs> so, I was like, yeah. So, let's go. Um, and a lot of people are shading him in the comment uh, or in the video with me making, like, pranking that I was pregnant. Um, well, first of all, <laughs> I just wanted to say he was not pressuring me into, like, getting an abortion or anything like that. Eric and I have actually talked about that, you know, I was like, well, you know, what if I get pregnant? Um, and I said, I, I always say that, you know, jokingly, because I know there was a lot of like, you shouldn't be joking about that, but come on, uh, if you get offended by something like that, that easily, you might as well just get off this channel because, I mean, that's, that's pretty ridiculous to get offended by. I mean, you can get offended by, but <laughs> I'm still not, I'm still gonna keep on doing that because... I mean, it's my channel. Uh, but anyway, the reason why he was saying that was because I have always said that, quote, I would rather, rather die than be pregnant, uh, which is like, I mean, obviously it's a bit of hyperbole on my part, but it is also very, very true. So no, he was not pressuring me into having an abortion. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> calm down. Anyway. I don't know what I'm doing in terms of my makeup today at all. I have to wash my makeup brushes. All of them are dirty. And I think I'm going with something like nude. Um because of my red shirt. <sighs> oh. So, yes, I have I was in California a couple weeks ago. And I did did film vlogs. But I'm so bad at uploading vlogs and editing vlogs and yada yada. So I apologize for that, but I'm trying to get them up and I'm trying to make time to edit them. Right now it's just, I mean, I feel like you guys have, are pretty good at understanding, but I am pretty, um... Well, I guess this week was going to be the end of my stressed out period. But obviously my SAT got moved. Oh, fuck me, dude. I just fucked this up. I spent like 24 minutes on this shit. And I still fuck it up. Talents. Um, yeah, this week was gonna be the end of my stress. But obviously, no. Obviously. That is not happening. So. Great. I feel awesome. Now I'm gonna have to stress even more. Actually, I think it's gonna be fine. You know, something that was really funny was that I, uh, so when I turned my car in for service to get my tires fixed, or changed, I, uh, we were joking with a woman, with a woman that worked on, like, in the, um, uh, that was working there, and she was, you know, I said, like, oh my god, now it's gonna probably snow tomorrow, and she said, oh, don't jinx it, and my dumbass was like, it's not gonna happen, well, look at me now, I learned, and I am going to have to deal with the consequences, fuck. Um, did I even finish the sentence about Good Friday? I don't think so. Good Friday is on Friday. And I am going to Hilton Head, which is our summer house in South Carolina. Uh, I have a lot of people tell me actually that they're from there, which is so fun. So if you're from Hilton Head, let me know, girl. We can probably see each other, take a picture, you know, hug. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. Eyes. I don't know what I'm doing for my eyes. <sighs> you know, the only thing that I don't want to do this palette for is because I have a red shirt. So, I'm going to go with the original Naked palette. 
question mark? We shall see. Would you guys want me to um, tell everyone what I used, what I use in the videos in terms of my makeup and, you know, brushes is just impossible. You know, I don't get how some, make well, I'm not a makeup artist or a beauty guru, but how some makeup artists and beauty gurus, like, link their brushes is just, like, I need to give credit where credit is due here because I could never do that. I'm too damn unorganized to do that. Like, I don't know. Where, like, half of these brushes I have gotten on, like, eBay. I'm not even kidding. Because I feel like they kind of do all the same thing. That's an unpopular opinion. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, I guess some... I mean, I definitely think that you need to... Sometimes if you have the, you know, money for it... Investing in good brushes is like, you know, obviously you're gonna get a lot of use of them. They don't ever really it, it's the gift that keeps on giving But you know, I have had I've gotten most of these, you know, all the blue ones I've gotten from like eBay are all, all the fucking I Feel like these are yeah, these are BH cosmetics I mean the ones that have the same handle on them are the same and they're probably from eBay if they don't say like this is Sonia Kashuk, but that that's it. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's not like I have all the most fancy brushes like all the makeup artists and shit have. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Actually, I'm taking that back. A lot of people do. I'm just gonna go with kind of like a simple eye look today. Which is unheard of here on this channel. I mean, the, the one thing that I've been really into is very, like, less makeup because it is spring and you know usually when spring rolls around well fucking not anymore bitch it's like so much snow outside i wish you guys can see it but i don't want to fuck up the angle of the camera but i mean usually when spring rolls around that's when i start wearing a little bit less makeup and just kind of like i mean i still look like a baby prostitute <laughs> let's be real here but i mean kind of less like a baby prostitute and kind of more like Like a, I'm trying to find the right word here. I mean, okay, so I look less like a prostitute, more like a, more like an escort, you know? Like I could get away with an escort right now. No, I'm just kidding. If you take offense to that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's kind of fucky. But honestly, that's a kind of like a running, running joke. I mean, at least in my school, it's like, I, you know, if you know me, then I'm very much, I don't really care that much what other people say, think about me. Uh, mostly because all my life I've kind of always been like the more ballsy person that, you know, tries certain things that people don't. And, you know, so when I started, so I switched schools my junior year. Um, and, which by the way, miss my old school so much. Anyway. I, uh, when I got to this school, it's, like, a lot bigger than my old school, and a lot, of, like, instantly when I started there and I wore, you know, makeup, it was, like, always kind of like a, Sasha kind of wears makeup because she's ugly without it, which is, like, <laughs> bitch wear. No, I'm kidding. but honestly, don't let nobody talk shit to you. I am not sure if I want like a gold or if I just want to kind of leave it like this. I'm just going to put like a little bit of gold in here. Just to lighten up the mood here. Yeah, that is pretty. That is cute. Boom. So, um... I realized, well, I wanted to apologize for leaving my vlog channel dead. And I also wanted to explain. <laughs> I'm really bad at vlogging. And I really want to, I'm such a perfectionist that I really just want to give you guys my best. That is why my vlog channel has been dead. And I do sincerely apologize for it.
But that's what's up. That's what's good. That looks kind of cute. So one thing that I have been doing recently is take a brown eyeliner. I'll show you in a second if I can find it. <laughs> My makeup table is so messy. Um, you know, it, so basically, eyeliner is my kryptonite, but it's also like my biggest blessing. My camera's gonna die in one second. Hold on, let me restart. Let me restart, yeah. Yeah, my uh, eyeliner is my kryptonite, but it's also my holy grail because it makes me either it's like a oh, it's in here. <laughs> either it's really good for me or it's like it fucks my makeup up completely. So, this one is called the NYX powder brown liner and it is weird but it's also like really good because it's kind of like a soft look so this is what it looks like it's kind of weird but it gives you like a cute little if you're not ready to commit it with with a with a liquid eyeliner you know this is really good and I think that it makes me look a lot better. This is why I would want to have a makeup artist do my makeup because I mean so much better would it be? <laughs> I mean, do you see that? It's like a little bit more soft. Which is something that I value. It's cute. It is actually really cute. The only thing though is that if you touch it, like if, if it's gone. <laughs> so don't touch it. Because it's like literally like powder. So I don't know what's in here. Probably magic. Probably love. But guess we'll never find out. Hmm. And something that I just realized is that you can probably put it as like a base. Like if you want to like outline where you want to do your eyeliner and then do it. I mean that would work really well. I'm just going to stick to this right now because I feel like it's really cute. Makes me look like a natural beauty. Oh no. Yeah! Yeah, boys! Okay. Now what? Uh, um, I have like a... Ugh. Nasty. Okay. Don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyelashes. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck my life. What kind of... Do I not have any eyelashes to wear? You know what we're gonna do, sweet boo-boo? Bobo, we're gonna do a DIY lash. I have done this many, many times and I'm very good at it by now. What I do, so this is what all I have usually. Sometimes when I wanna build my own lash, I do this. So I have like a billion of these, which is um, lash trios. And I'm gonna show you my trick right now. Sometimes people tell me that my eyelashes look really good when they're like fluffy and shit, you know? That's when I do this. So if you want to know how I do this shit, <laughs> girl, you better pay attention. So the first thing that I do, this is optional, but I like to do this, do this as a base. Is just take like a pair of basic bitch eyelashes and just kind of glue those on. So these are like really, really, really thin. And I glue them on. And then I apply like a shit ton of trios. So you can just build your own lashes. Like if you, have you ever been to like Build-A-Bear? This is like build your build your eye, build your own lash. I'll see myself out. Oh, speaking of that, so first of all, let me start off this statement by saying I do not think I'm famous. I don't think I'm like really, really, you know, there are definitely more people that have more talents than I do. But a lot of people have told me that they would really like me to make merch. <laughs> Stay with me. 
And I was first like, fuck no, you know, that's pretty embarrassing. No one is gonna buy it. But then I had a you now. Follow me on you now. I'm on I'm on there all the time. Um saying that no, we really want some, you know, you should do it. So I kind of started looking into it. And would you guys want merch? And like the top comment was that, yeah, you should make merch that say I'll see myself out because I say that all the time. And like Saturns and stuff because that's my favorite. Would you guys want that and what would you guys want? Comment down below, please. Help a girl out. Ow, I have a zit on the side of my head that's like not ready to pop yet. Like it's, ooh, you know what I'm talking about. Like they're horrible. I'm just gonna bronze my face up a little bit. My forehead, like this area of my forehead, like my, the top of my forehead, never takes any pigment and it gets really dry and like really patchy because it won't take pigment. So I hate doing bronzer there now because, ugh. oh, I'm starting to use a blush too because I never use blush ever. And this one's called, I think I actually mentioned this in my last Classy with Sassy. If I did, I'm sorry. This is called Dainty by MAC. It's like the perfect baby pink. I really like it. I used to never blush ever. And now I'm like obsessed with wearing blush because it makes me look really cute. Boom. Boom, a boo boo. Okay. Basic bitch lash is on. And this is gonna be like your base for building your own lash. Because, I don't know, I like to use this when I, like, I don't know, A, when I don't have any lashes at home, or if I just, you know, sometimes, I was really into doing this like a couple weeks ago, but then, you know, it's kind of like, it takes a long while, you know, it's really easy to just glue on a pair of eyelashes. Um, and you can do this, you don't have to get like a trio, sometimes I've, or like the last trios. Sometimes I just take my uh, old eyelashes and I just like cut them into little pieces and I glue them on, on different places so that they, you know, it's like customized, basically. Um, but the thing that I really like about this is that you can build your own eye eyelashes the way you want them. You know, and you can add on, you can take away, you can do your thing, you know. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more on the outside today because I really never do that. I usually do eyelashes that aren't like cat-eyed. I usually do them that are like in the middle. So my eyelashes, or so my eyes look a little bit more like round and open. But today I think I'm gonna do them on the side so they look a little bit more catty. Because I feel like a cat today. I'm gonna do some highlight. Um, with this motion. Oh, okay. I dropped my Becca highlighter the other day and I cried for like 45 minutes. It was not a, it was not a fun time. It was actually hell. And one thing that I've been starting to do a lot, <laughs> great grammar. One thing that I have been starting to do a lot is like, when I don't want to wear any makeup, I'll just moisturize my face and then directly after I moisturize it, just put on a pair, a little bit of highlight everywhere. That makes me look like I got sleep. I got dick down. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Where am I? Um, <laughs> but it makes you look really glowy. Or if, like, you're pregnant, you know? What if you want the pregnant glow but you don't want to be pregnant? Peep my pregnancy prank. I actually have a friend that's pregnant right now and it's so exciting. She's having a baby boy. I'm so excited for her. I love going baby shopping. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering why I'm using it with a little, this kind of brush. I've been really obsessed with using those lately for my highlight. I feel like they're a lot better. They just disperse the highlight a lot better. Well, 
Okay, quick tip. Use a little, the back of like a pair of eyelashes and put the glue on there like a little glob. And then dip your little trios or whatever. Also, quick tip, count the amount of um, lashes you use per eye. Because sometimes I'm like, is it uneven? And then I don't know. So like one. <laughs> Not gonna count them out loud, but you get the drill. So this is, if you've ever, ever wondered what, like, if I have really, really fluffy eyelashes in any video, that's, this is what I've been doing. Because a lot of people are like, what eyelashes are you using? And I've never answered it because I don't know, it's kind of weird, like this. So, yeah, if you ever wanted to know, it's this boo-boo. You, you get all, all of the partners <laughs> if you do this, I swear to God. Oh my God, sometimes you get glue everywhere. Now I lost count, fuck. Oh yeah, I think I did twice, okay. Like two of them. Fuck, okay, so one thing That'll happen with this a lot is you'll get a shit ton of glue on your eye lid. But, oh my god. Did I get glue on my fu Oh my god. You know, it's just going great. Like, my life is going great. Oh, never mind. It just got all over my pants. Okay, great. You know. Did I mention I'm a beauty girl? Because I fucking am, bitch. I've been obsessed with looking at houses lately because it's just like a big, big interest of mine. I love it. So fun. Being like, I use the website Zillow. I'm not sponsored. I mean, hell, I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, and I got my boyfriend really obsessed with it as well. It's so fun. You can look at different houses and just like fuck around. It's really fun. Now I lost count again. Um, well, I'm gonna switch to this. Like I said, you can just feel free to cut up some eyelashes and just go ham and cheese because sometimes that's what I do. Because, I mean, you're not gonna use your old fucking eyelashes. I mean, you always tell yourself you are and then you never do. At least from not my experience. That's why I never buy like really, really expensive eyelashes because I feel like I would never reuse them and it was just. It would just be like a big waste of money. But it's, that's, you know, just my own mentality. This uh, started from me doing my own eyelash extensions. And then I got really annoyed with them. Like I, I saw a comment on my old, on my last uh, class with Sassy. Like, oh, you should get eyelash extensions. Well, basically I have, like so many times, but I can't have them because I go insane. Because I need to like, there comes a point in my life where I need to just scratch the fuck out of my eyes and I can't do that with eyelash extensions. So, so yeah, I, I'm, I can't do it. <laughs> Bottom line, I can't fucking do it. I mean, I wish I could, but I can't. So I just started doing this because I was like, fuck, like my eyelash extensions look really good right now. Because I used to do this. Like I literally used to do this, like take these fucking trios and just glue them. Not with like glue, <laughs> like actual, like you can get like the glue. I still have it, I think. Um, but I just went fucking insane, so. So it's a no for me. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Sometimes you're gonna look a little fucky. It's okay. Just glue that shit on. And... Okay, not working. 
I mean, you definitely learn something about life while doing this. Oh, I wanted to tell you, I mean, I have said thank you for the video that I did a couple of weeks ago of my um, anorexia, yada yada, and I wanted to say, but I just wanted to make a really big thank you and say thank you for the nice sweet comments and the support and everything. Um, but in this moment, you know, I just kind of want to, you know, leave it alone. I mean, I did that video and now I'm kind of like, you know, I put it out there and now I kind of just want to move on, you know? So... Um, I appreciate all the comments, I appreciate all the help and everything, um, but right now I just kind of want to move on and just kind of focus on the positive, the happy things, um, as I just glue this fucker on really badly. Okay, I'm great. So, yeah, that's just kind of what I, what I wanted to say about that. I mean, a lot of people try to reach out to me, and I just haven't really responded. Not because I don't feel thankful. I'm incredibly thankful, but like I said, it's kind of triggering. You know, and it's kind of, you know, I just really just didn't want to see any of that. I'm not really ready to yet. So, anyway, thank you. Oh, this is taking for fucking hours. I forgot how long this is to do, but it, like, it turns out really good. Let me just tell you that. Like, a lot of people tell me that I have really fluffy eyelashes, which is good. When I do this shit. So, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's not, like, beautiful. And they always turn out a little bit fucky. Just because, I don't know, like, you know, you can't really tell if they're even or not. I mean, at least I can't. And then there's always this one part that's, like, really not, not even at all. And then that makes you want to cry. I mean, it's okay. I'm just gonna, like, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find, this is what I'm talking about. Just like find a pair of eyelashes that are old. I just glue those motherfuckers on there. It's really easy. Like these fuckers right here. I mean, this band is really big, so no. I hate literally probably every single pair of eyelashes except for Ardell. Ardell, I love you. And be that is because your bands won't make me dance. It, they're so thin and easy to work with. And I appreciate you. I don't think that I have my scissors here. Fuck. Okay, I'll be right back. <sighs> okay. Alright, I'm really liking the look of my eyelashes, but I feel like I'm just gonna add a little bit more to them, and I chose to use a pair of Huda Beauty eyelashes. I've already used these a fuck ton amount, so I'm just gonna cut them up a little bit, I'm sorry Huda, and just uh, use them as single eyelashes. They're single, no. I mean, if this is not recycling, I don't know what is. Oh, I got an email. Okay, I'm sorry. This is probably really, 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 like, honest, interesting to you guys. But so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about something else while I do this. <laughs> um, I feel like this is really forced now that I'm like, oh fuck. I keep putting my hands in eyelash glue. It's nasty. It is nasty. I feel like this year has gone by so quickly. Cause I am just, I cannot believe that it's already April. Like that is crazy to me. Oh, 
Okay, bad idea. Okay, did my eyelashes. Now I'm doing my lips, which is the last part of this, and then I'm done. All right, so I have been really obsessed with this one lip liner from Clinique. It is called Intense Blush, and it's really cute. You like screw it up, and I always use lip liner. As many of you guys know. I've been really obsessed with doing like a straight uh, cupid's bow. It just looks really cute. Hmm. And like one of the main things that I like about having or doing lip liner, so you can kind of change the shape of your lips. I like to use this bougie ass lipstick, which is Louboutin, and it, it's literally the boot. Like this is the most luxurious thing I own, and it's such a pretty lipstick. It's a nude. These are the only nudes you'll get from me, and I am done with the look. Gonna spray my face. Probably gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lash line when these fully dry. But this is what my look looks like. Hope you guys liked it. Oof, I just inhaled everything. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Did you see that? I'll see you in my next video. Bye.